Hi everyone, today I wanted to share with you another versatility video. For this versatility video, I wanted to focus on a vintage leopard skirt that I actually got from the Portland Fleet and Food a couple weeks ago. Quickly, just what a versatility exercise or what this video is gonna entail is I take one piece um, especially, I love to do this especially with pieces that I'm adding to my closet or that are new. Uh, but I take that piece and I create five different looks with it to see just how much of a workhorse or how versatile this piece can be in my current wardrobe. So now a little bit more about this piece and why I decided to add it to my closet. I have been loving wearing my polka dot vintage silk skirt that's more of um, a little bit of a midi length. I've been loving wearing that piece and combining it with the pieces in my closet and I've loved that it's a pattern that I can really utilize with my neutral wardrobe. So I knew that I wanted to add another pattern skirt that I could also do the same thing to kind of mix things up. I saw this at the Portland Fleet and Food which is a great uh, kind of vendor fair for vintage, crafts, food, all this different stuff. Uh, it's super fun so if you're in Portland area definitely check it out. But what drew me to this skirt was that it is a leopard print, which has been in season right now, but um, I believe it's a, a type of pattern that I could really work into my wardrobe in the future as well. And even if the trend goes out, I still want to incorporate it because I love a good leopard pattern. But it's neutral tones, so I knew that it would work with the current colors I'm using. And I love the length of it. It's a little bit longer than my like white and black kind of leopard polka dot skirt. Uh, a little bit longer, more of a maxi length, uh, but super lightweight, and I thought it'd be really fun to layer for fall. So these reasons, and it being a vintage piece, um, was just an added bonus because, as you know, I focus on sustainability here and making a little bit smarter choices uh, when you go to buy new clothing for your wardrobe, making more impactful choices. So by shopping vintage or secondhand, that's a really, really great way to add pieces to your closet that are a little bit more conscious and that generally don't cost a fortune like sometimes ethically made garments can. So now let's dive into the outfits that I created with this vintage leopard skirt. This first look is the one that I originally thought of when I saw this skirt. I've been loving for a while now those longer skirts with the chunky fall sweaters layered over and some fun sneakers to tie in to make it a little bit more of a street style look. So I love the cream sweater that I paired with this look. It's one of my favorites. I've had it forever. It's actually a very old sweater from Zara, but I bought it uh, like two sizes bigger than I normally wear, so it would be extra oversized. But I love that proportion with the longer uh, flowy slim skirt and then my chunky tan canvas sneakers to add a little bit more of um, a grounding there, that chunkier bit at the bottom kind of matches the chunkiness of the sweater at top, so it feels balanced and not offset by one or the other. And then to top it off, I just added my two gold rings that I've been wearing nonstop from Wolf Circus. I love those rings, so having a little jewelry element just to kind of um, make it a little bit fancier, um, but overall a great street style look that I am super excited to test out this fall. For this next outfit I wanted to create a really clean kind of business feel look. Um, I almost envisioned this wearing this to like an art gallery or an art gallery show but just taking my uh, one of my basics that I always keep in my wardrobe a black fitted turtleneck just a knit um, tee and then pairing that with a skirt tucked in to create a nice a uh, clean line and silhouette there. And then I paired uh, my white or bone uh, day boot from Everlane with these to add a little pop of brightness and kind of an unexpected shoe element. I really like pairing the skirt with some more basic tones, the black and then the white. I feel like it helps accentuate the skirt, uh, helps it pop with the outfit, but isn't too overwhelming. Overall, a very, very classy look. I then topped it off with jewelry. I feel like wearing my statement necklace was this were kind of a, a given with this outfit, but I wanted to do something a little different and actually wore my twisted vintage gold hoop earrings, trying to add a fun um, accent element um, towards the top of my face uh, instead of kind of my basic uh, statement necklaces, which I love but always wear. 
For this next look, I wanted to push myself even further when it comes to patterns, and I actually paired the skirt with another pattern that I do have in my wardrobe right now from Millie and Lou. They take vintage items and then they will um, draw these prints that they custom design onto them to kind of recreate and revive the piece. Um, super, super cool. But I took this blouse that I have, it's the cream blouse, and it has this kind of like uh, abstract woman outline on it. Uh, and paired that with the skirt and then with my uh, cream heels. I love how these two patterns mash up. It's definitely very different for me, but it's it's fun to see a big, uh, a large print that's kind of very subtle mixed with the leopard skirt. Um, and I kept it very, very uh, simple to make sure that these two patterns kind of flowed by keeping, again, neutrals like most of my wardrobe, but I feel like the cream balances really, really well with the heel. And then um, again, lets that leopard skirt kind of be its own kind of fun neutral element that um, is kind of the bridge between the two pieces. This next look is probably the most out of the box look for me, but I really, really love it. I got super creative with layerings with this one. I took the skirt and then layered over my Harper linen tunic from Elizabeth Susan, which is super, super long and almost dress length on me. And then I added an even longer layer uh, with my um, cognac cardigan from Madewell that I've had for a couple years now uh, and created this overall very, very long silhouette look with all these very long layers. Uh, I love the proportions that it creates and how I feel like most of the outfits that I think of when I think to pair this skirt with other pieces is kind of your traditional tee or top and then the skirt, but I love having this tunic over it and creating this extra long layer to add a little bit more um, dynamic in the outfit. And then I thought about pairing my sneakers with this look to again make it more of kind of a street style um, glam versus like more grunge kind of look. but. I instead decided to pair my cream heels with it because I felt like all the long layers with the sneakers was kind of bringing it down too much and made it look a little bit more sloppy than I would have liked. So the heel kind of makes it a little bit more um, elevated, a little bit classier. It gives me some height, which really adds to the dramatic effect of the layers and overall super, super happy with this look. It was one of those that I thought about, but I wasn't sure if I would really like it when I tried it on, but it's actually one of my favorites of the five. This last look is kind of fun. I feel like it's kind of my Portland version of wearing this skirt. I paired this skirt with uh, some of my ankle rain boots from Alice and Whittle that I absolutely love, sustainable rainwear brand. Um, but then I just paired my Winona tee with it and um, kind of kept it again a little bit street style and then my Everlane crop cardigan that I wear all the time whether it's like buttoned up or just open I've been wearing it a ton lately uh, over it and um, I love the rain wear with the skirt um, it's a little bit unexpected it's not quite the sneaker and skirt trend but a nice fun kind of in between I also really like how the black um, rain boots have like a white edging, which ties in really, really nicely with the white and black tee, and then the black sweater, of course. So again, keeping the other elements in the outfit fairly simple with white and black, but then letting the skirt really shine and look um, with obviously the pattern. Um, and then also leopard is just, I found, super easy to work into my wardrobe when I was thinking about these looks and how I would include it in my closet. I really liked and appreciated that the leopard pattern is naturally made up of a lot of different neutrals that you can just pull from in the pattern. So of course the blacks, the tans, the browns, and um, it just made it super, super easy to create different looks with this piece. And I encourage you, if you do add something new to your closet, try out this exercise to see just how versatile it can be, especially if it's an item you can return, uh, just in case you get it and you think it's gonna work out and be great with your current closet. And then if you're playing around with it and realizing really there's only one or two looks that you feel your best and the most confident and comfortable in, then maybe it's something that you might not want to add unless it's just, an all-star rock star piece that you just really, really, really love. But ideally, if you add something to your closet, you'll wanna make a bunch of different outfits and be able to incorporate it in a bunch of different ways 
so that it's a true investment and something that will work hard for you for many years to come. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and got inspired to test out some of the items in your closet to see just how versatile they are and I will see you in the next one.